All right, guys, uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I have talked about this gun before on the channel, had some issues with it, um, but I've since had them fixed and I've been meaning to have a good old fashioned review on it. Uh, but it is currently done uh, and I'd like to talk about it. So let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay. <clears throat> As you can see, this is an arms core, well, Rock Island, uh, model 206, 38 special revolver. Um, obviously made in the Philippines. Um, <clears throat> one of my biggest complaints that I had with it, uh, if you've seen a former video, I can link it uh, below, but it came really gritty. And what happened is there was a pin in here that got locked in. So basically I got it to the point where the cylinder was locked and I couldn't pull the slide release back at all. So, which didn't really serve itself very well for a revolver. Um, but, uh, so I had some issues with it, but in the grand scheme of things, uh, that's kind of why I got it is because I wanted to be able to kind of experiment with it. Uh, it was a cheaper revolver. This is MSRP is 259. Uh, you can find it a little less. Sometimes I actually see it for a little more than that. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to get a little bit further into this, uh, read off some of the specifications on it real quick. Um, the width is 1.5 inches. The barrel is a two inch snub with ramp sights and basically a gutter rear notch sight here. Uh, six round capacity of 38 special. Uh, let's see here. It weighs 24 ounces. It has a nice parkerized finish. Well, nice can be subjective. It's pretty rough. Uh, the parkerizing is good, but the uh, you know as far as the finish work, there's a lot of grittiness here and there. Uh, but like I said, it's a cheap revolver, one of the cheapest revolvers you can get. Um, Length is 6.75 inches, and height is 4.67 inches. So what we're dealing with is a pretty fairly compact revolver, um, very much in the budget class. Um, kind of copies after a Colt Detective Special. Uh, so it's kind of what led me to get it. It's just because it was a different style of revolver uh, that I haven't had, you know, with the, and don't have a Colt. So I just thought it'd be kind of cool to have a uh, nice little target pistol or revolver and uh in terms of carryability uh, it's definitely capable of doing such a thing uh, one thing you know it does come with some plastic grips they're a little bit bigger uh, they are comfortable they're not really anything to write home about but they do work uh, but currently i prefer the wood grips just because it makes it, it gives it that old-fashioned feel and um, that's kind of how i prefer it uh, like I said before, uh, the fit and finish is <laughs> not the greatest. Um, you can just see, if you look real close, generally it's it's pretty rough uh, in terms of how they, they did final assembly and everything. Uh, nothing, I wouldn't say anything really like malicious, uh, but you can tell you're getting kind of a, a budget class. Uh, the one thing to note is it is easy to work on, very simple. Uh, when you take this top plate off, uh, you can get right in there and see basically all the internals and make it work. Uh, so with the issues I had with the uh, slide release coming back, um, <laughs> lent itself very well to be able to actually take this apart and do what I needed to do to fix it. So, um, but it's got a really nice single action trigger, really crisp, most revolvers are. Uh, the double action trigger, little gritty, um, but not bad. Uh, nothing really, no complaints there. Uh, like I said, besides just the initial um, presentation of it. See, when I bought it, it was a little sticky. I'm like, oh, well, I'll take it home and I'll clean it up. This is the only one they had, and I kind of was dead set on getting it, so I got it. Uh, but when I was taking it apart to clean it, or taking it apart to clean it, um, I ran into the issue where that just got stuck forward, 
and could not do anything with it. It was basically useless. So I guess if you're interested in these, uh, my biggest suggestion would be to just do the best you can, break it down, clean it apart, or, or break it apart, clean it all, uh, lubricate everything you can, really try to get to the nitty gritty on it uh, in order to be able to really kind of be able to count on its reliability. Um, haven't had any issues in the reliability front with it. Uh, it's been very reliable actually. So uh, in terms of revolvers, uh, the cylinder has a little bit of wobble, but not bad. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, really, in terms of just if you don't have a revolver and you want to get one cheap to add to a collection or kind of get into shooting them, I think this is actually a really great choice. Um, just be prepared if there's some hiccups. Uh, dealing with arms core wasn't that terrible. Um, I was able to get the parts. Uh, it, it took a little while, but um, that's probably more to do with COVID and supply line issues and stuff like that than anything. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you want to go ahead and consider the M206, uh, I don't think it's a bad choice, especially if it's your first revolver. Uh, and I would think it'd be a good addition to anybody's collection if you're just looking for kind of a Colt style. Um, basically, if you will, kind of a gun a uh, detective would use in the, the 50s, 60s. Uh, you know, real small, compact. Um, but yeah, really cool. Uh, I'm going to definitely keep this piece. Uh, just because of, you know, some of the features it has, like I said. Um, but, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, and check back soon.